So we got a new morning and I'm going to cook some breakfast. But the night with the mosquito net was motherfucking fantastic. I've never slept this good in a long motherfucking while, you know. Because it was such a good airflow and I used like my sleeping bag like a blanket instead of like going into it. So the heat was much better. I didn't get sweaty. I didn't get too cold. It was perfect. So big up motherfucking mosquito net. Let's do some fucking out. Good morning from a little fucking hut inside a camping area where I did not pay. I just went in and find this hut yesterday in the rain. And over there you can see the sun is coming up somewhere. So here's the camping ground. And here's my little... <laughs> hut that I found so I didn't get found either <laughs> and I'm walking I have no bike because I left my bike at uh, Meter was the name of the fucking store at uh, Mikael, also known as Myran, here in Kiruna. Great guy. Talked to a bunch and he's gonna take a check into my bike because my back wheel is doing this, so I need to tighten the oaks. What's the thing? You know, the fucking in Swedish it's Eken. Anyway, I need to straighten up my wheel a little and then my front side bags like my package holder it's like breaking me down so I need to strengthen that too and he thought I would as well put on some new braking stones on my brake so yeah doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that on the bike you know all good in the hood you know what I'm saying so I'm just walking around out here new Kiruna baby Skibidi. so a little funny thing about Kiruna you can see here that they are like demolishing and shit and working and what they are doing is that they are moving houses, entire buildings or just taking them down and that is because and it's it stretches like all the way down I saw like houses with cracks and shit like down there but anyway I'm here cooking some breakfast in a park but in Kiruna we have a big fucking mine and they mine a lot of shit I don't know exactly what but they mine you know they, they dig out the fucking mountains and shit and because of this mining things or the ground is like moving you know so the houses are falling apart like cracks and shit in them so they have to either get rid of them or move them <laughs> so that's pretty fucked up actually After like five or six days of 
straight out rain. The sun is fucking peeking out, y'all. Got it. I hope he's here to stay. I really fucking hope so. Fuck, that feels nice. I have some sun on your <sighs> sun, everybody. Motherfucking sun. I don't think that is clouds, I think that is snow. And if that is snow, this might be Kebne Kaiser, Kebne motherfucking Kaiser. Maybe. Oh, there's a camper once again, just driving. So I think it's rain coming in because it's blowing these rainy winds. Uh, but I found this little place, like 10 kilometers from Nikolokta. So I figured that I set down a little camp, make some food, and here we got the river coming down from Kebnekaise. You can see like the the clouds or rain. I don't know what that is though. Fog or rain or cloud. But I'm gonna cook some food and chill here. Maybe we will keep on heading for Nikalokta today or tomorrow or tonight. I don't know, whatever. Look at my small little solution with <laughs> the anchoring on my tarp. Kinda cozy in there. Yeah. Right. This is fucking mad. Can you see the color of the of the water? Look, it's like sea arm. Light blue, you see? What the freak? I've never seen this kind of water in Sweden. Damn. Alright. Let's go. Alright, it's going quite well. It's some difficulties with the row, but Nonetheless, look at this. We got waterfalls. One here coming from the peak, and then I saw one there too. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a cave underneath. It's just amazing. Holy fuck. Apparently, it's a boat down here that you should like take whew, somewhat further up. People have been questioning me <laughs> coming here with the bike because everybody's hiking walking by shoes but I was like yeah I'm gonna get my bike as far as I can just for fun and then I'm gonna like put down my camp for the night was my thought and I've come pretty fucking far you know what I'm saying yeah anyway yeah waterfalls they are something right so the boats are not going more tonight it just the last tour and he's opening at 9 tomorrow so maybe I'll set up a camp here and continue tomorrow because the time is 8 in the evening or I'll keep paddling a little bit further because you just follow the the water like to the side here basically up as long as you can as you can see the water look at it it's like the blue one earlier but this is more 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 ugly you know Kind of cool, but apparently the guy who 
is doing the boat rides told me that it's mud mixtured into the water coming from the fucking mountains and shit so it's not I mean you can drink it but it's like drinking water with sand in it he said so don't drink this water drink the water that is running inside there like the small rivers and shit not this one but it looks cool though if I stay here I might take a swim I don't know yeah Ah, uh, I keep going for a little bit more. I mean, it doesn't get dark here anyway. It's gonna be like this bright all fucking <laughs> night, you know. Look over there. The sun is peeking through. So we might get the sun later on when these fucking clouds, hopefully, get the fuck away, you know what I'm saying? All right. I kind of regret my decision right now, though. Fuck. Stones. <laughs>